Chess is an incredible game. It teaches you how to be patient, respectful, responsible, disciplined, and many other good values. Normally, when I teach chess in primary schools, I want to encourage children to learn chess. In this video, I'm going to show you a mini game that will encourage not only children, but anyone who's new to the game to play chess. The first thing you're going to do is to explain the movement of only one piece, and that's going to be the pawn. What's going to happen is that you're going to say, okay, the pawn moves in front only one square, twice if it's the first move. It takes diagonally, and it cannot go backwards nor sideways. You're going to explain the movement. You're going to put a position like this. You're going to ask if it was white to play, what would you play with white? If it was black to play, what would you play with, with black? It will quickly realize that it's not possible to make any move. And then you're going to ma make a little bit of an adjustment here. Ask the same question. If it was white to play, who would win? Uh, answer being, of course, white because they take. And the same answer, but well, the other way around with black. Once you've done that, you're pretty much ready to play the minigame. Capture the flag. You're going to set up the position you see on screen. Eight white pawns on the second rank and eight black pawns on the seventh rank. And you're going to explain, first of all, that this is not real chess. This is a mini game that helps us understand normal chess. And there you're going to go and explain the two ways of winning this mini game. There are only two ways. Number one, if you capture all your opponent's pieces, let's say black blunders one pawn like that, you capture it diagonally. That's the way. That's what we learned at the beginning, that pawns take diagonally. And if you do that with every single pawn black has, Black doesn't have any pawns, so white wins. The same for, for applies for black, of course. If, if black takes every single white piece, then black wins. The second way of winning in this minigame, and the reason why this minigame is called Capture the Flag, is that if you reach the last row, for instance, for white, this is the last row. For black, this is the last row. Then you capture the flag. For example, let's say white plays e4, black plays f5, bad move e takes f5, e6. In this position, black has a good move, which is taking, and that's exact, actually the only move to not lose. But let's say black ignores that. We can advance the pawn or take, and now the pawn reaches the end, which means that white captures the flag and wins immediately. This is a very easy minigame. Hopefully, it's going to encourage whoever you want to encourage to play chess. And um, yeah, let me know how it goes. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed that. And also let me know if it's useful. Subscribe, give a like. It, it helps me a lot. And have a nice day.